This is the Pubcast Shot. Who are you? I'm John Loomer. Let's go. This is just a quick PSA to remind you that it's okay to use text in image ads these days. So I know that advertisers are so conditioned now to the old 20% rule that many think it still exists. It doesn't. So quick history. So back in 2013 or so, that's the first time I saw it mentioned in one of my blog posts. I think it was February 2013. There was a 20% rule. And oh my goodness, the 20% rule. So ad images could not contain 20% or more text without getting rejected, flat out rejected. Facebook and advertisers used a grid tool to measure this and make sure that images complied. It was such an inexact science. It was ridiculous. You could find ways around it depending on where the text was. Uh, yeah, it was a complete inexact measure. It was kind of a joke. Now, there were also exceptions for book covers and movie posters and album covers and stuff like that. And it just created so much confusion and frustration with advertisers. Then in 2016, there was an adjustment. Facebook moved to this okay, low, medium, high scale. So theoretically, depending on which category you fell into, it could impact your distribution differently. So your ad would run no matter what, apparently, but the amount of text may impact your ability to get your ads shown. So you received warnings when you created these ads with a lot of text that the amount of text may impact your results but you could still push through. And then, what we often forget, September of 2020, Facebook quietly got rid of the rule. So there's no more grid tool. There's really no mention in documentation other than just a general recommendation not to use a lot of text, but I just don't think there's any science behind that. And there's no more warning about you created an ad image with too much text, watch out. That doesn't happen anymore. I even, when this went down, I created an ad that was just saturated in text um, and nothing happened and it ran fine. So there's no current evidence that text and images negatively impacts ad performance. In some cases, like anything else, it could be good. In some cases, it could be bad. Test it out. Bottom line is, it's no longer something you need to worry about. So if someone brings up that old rule, Make sure to remind them it's no longer a thing. Do you have a question that you want answered in a Pubcast shot? Go to pubcast.johnloomer.com and you'll see a button on the right-hand side to send an audio question. That question could appear on my Pubcast. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, do awesome things. I'm out.